Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we are in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Ibrahim Sultan, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at UPMC in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Dr. Sultan, it is great to see you again and thanks so much for being with me at STS. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, so we're here and we're getting lots of good information about new advances in research and valvular therapy. Patient questions are also coming in. And for you, we have a great one from Lena. She asks, hi Adam, I had mitral valve repair two weeks ago. Since then, I have had too high heart rate and too low blood pressure. My friend told me that his father had mitral valve repair and had the same issues. Is this common? Yeah, you know, heart rates fluctuates after heart surgery. It can be high or low. The first thing to look at is, is there a problem going on? For example, is the heart in normal rhythm or is it an abnormal rhythm? Second, why is somebody having a high heart rate? Is it that they're anemic? Is it that they have a little bit of fluid around their heart or lungs? Uh, could they be in, in a small degree of heart failure after heart surgery? So all these things are relatively common. Once you rule out those common issues, then you can treat that heart rate by slowing it down. But it's, it's not abnormal for the heart to respond this way after heart surgery. Great, and a quick follow-up. You mentioned treat that heart rate. How might you and your team at UPMC do that? Yeah, so you know the goal is to get the heart rate comfortable enough level, right? So we typically don't like to drive it over 100. Uh, we don't want to drop it below 60, so we want it somewhere in the middle. And a lot of that depends on what kind of symptoms that elicit. Some people like being at a heart rate of 60 or 70 if they're extremely active. Some people are used to a heart rate of 80 or 90. And so what they're comfortable with and what their body and heart is comfortable with is what we go about. And do you use it through medication or other techniques? Typically medications. That's the most common way we do that. So. Great. Well, Lena, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me and Dr. Sultan on behalf of Lena and all the patients around the world watching this. Thanks for everything you and your team are doing at UPMC in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thanks for being with me today. Great. Thank you, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.